Hey guys, sorry I was a little distracted. Uh, how's it going and welcome back. Yeah, I'm not, just FYI, before I even get started, I have not walked through this before yet. I don't think I've walked down the street yet. Maybe a few times when I was drunk late at night, many, many moons ago. But for the most part, yeah, all this is new out here. So let's enjoy the sights together. Today, we're going to be talking about well, actually, today's episode, you're watching this on a Saturday, most likely, because we're celebrating 420, and we're also celebrating Easter Sunday. So I figured, you know what? Why not celebrate them both at the same time? Why not? And uh, why not walk and talk and, uh, you know, just talk about random thoughts and talk about these two very important days and so on and so forth by the way yeah i do remember this area a little bit now not i'm walking through here but i don't think i definitely have not brought you guys with me yet so let's enjoy let's enjoy our walking and talking um i, th I think you guys get a good view through here oh a little dirty lens here hope that's hope that's better yeah you can tell how how i prepare for these right i really go out of my way to to really prepare I can't, I can't even clean the fucking lens before I turn this thing on anyways so it smells good out here I like this area so look at this look how awesome this is this is like uh, security cool huh so yeah I mean you, you see that from time to time out here you know I think one of my neighbors has that and so on and so forth What's this? Yeah, I'm gonna be a little distracted today because I'm literally, I don't think I've been here during the day, so all this stuff is new to me. Cool, cool. There's a lot of stuff on this fucking street, man. I gotta come down this street a lot more often. Anyways, anyways. Segway to what we're gonna talk about. You should try things out more often, you know what I mean? You should get out of your comfort zone and get out of your little shell of a, of a world or of a life out of whatever and do different things and uh you know baby steps at first you know um but it definitely helps it definitely enhances life a lot so this is really cool damn you know i might, I might start taking this route more often it's a lot of uh you know you know what this street has it has a lot of um camera worthy shots you know meaning i gotta come out here with my actual camera and get some shots you know whether it's stock footage or whatever but yeah man nice so anyway stepping out of your comfort zone so today is uh, 420 it's an awesome beautiful day I usually uh, don't necessarily celebrate 420 420 to me is just like any other day because I smoke every fucking day because I'm a fucking you know I'm a degenerate motherfucker come on bro And, um, and so, yeah, you know what I mean? Like I myself, you know what? Let me see if I can do two things at once. So tomorrow you, you watch my Snapchat movies. So it's not Snapchat, it's Instagram. So what we're going to do here, let's see if we can do a little double action here. Because I want to take a picture of this. So maybe you guys can watch me take a picture. that we post it now we go to flip the camera over oh my hair is a mess all right so hey guys how's it going look now we're recording we're live we're live we're double live we're just taking a picture of that car how awesome all right let's continue on our walking and talking one man crew here i gotta fix my hair i need a haircut <laughs> all right all right I'm sure that's entertaining. You see, I don't know what the fuck that is over there. That does not look safe. <laughs> but it's cool. It's interesting. All right. So, again, today's just a random day. 420. Oh, yeah. Let's talk about 420 for a minute. Cool. So, yeah. So, the whole thing with 420. So, yeah. I don't, I, look, there's like a, like a joke, a running joke that says if you if you celebrate 420 
then you're not really a smoker. So I don't really celebrate 420 because, you know, I smoke every fucking day. Wait, wait, did I say it right? No, no, hold on. If you celebrate 420, you're not a smoker. Yeah, there you go. And let me explain why. Well, because every day is fucking 420 to me. I don't need a special day to get high or smoke or whatever. Yeah, this street has a lot more action, that's for sure. Yeah, this street has a lot more action. I, I, I like this street better. And I'm telling you, like, I usually just walk down that street. It's only a block over that way. Well, two blocks that way. Um, I never come down this street. What's this guy waiting for? Red light? I want to cross. All right. No crossing. Wait, wait. So... Yeah, so anyway, so like about the 420 thing. Well, I'm gonna be celebrating 420. Let me check out my hair. All right, not so bad. So well, anyways, I'm gonna be celebrating this 420 because um, I got a friend of mine, a little senorita friend of mine. It's already gonna be week number three. So most likely as you're watching this, I'm gonna be hanging out with her. Yeah, anyways, so we're gonna be celebrating 420 and it's gonna be fucking awesome and uh, Maybe we're probably making a movie right now, literally, as you're watching this movie. Living the dream, man. Living that fucking dream. You already know it. There's a lot of... This is really beautiful out here. Damn. I like... Damn, it really... I mean, I, I'm trying... I'm really trying to focus. But it's really nice out here. So it's, it's a lot of stuff to see in the, down this street. Huh. Interesting. Okay. So... Well, I'm going to be celebrating 420. Just random thoughts today, guys. Just random fucking thoughts with Jose. Again, you can tell it's a 420 episode. You know, we can't even fuck us. You know, just all over the place. Talking shit. The usual. And then tomorrow. Tomorrow's Easter. So tomorrow, Easter, you'll be watching my, my uh, Instagram stories, my Snapchat stories, or whatever the hell. And, um, is that like an apartment building? Oh, no, it's a uh, government building. All right. Cool. So, um... All right, make sure I don't get run over here. So, yeah, like I was saying, so Sunday, Sunday's Easter Sunday. Sunday is, uh, you know, the whole religious thing comes to an end. This whole week here in this, uh, in Merida, in Mexico, is uh, Semana Santa, which is uh, Holy Week. Wait, that, yeah, it's, like, you know, it's Holy Week for you guys. There's a lot of government buildings around here. Cool, look at this one. Yeah, all, there's a lot of yeah, all these are government buildings. Cool. All right, a lot of really cool things around here. Another boutique hotel over there. That's interesting. It's a lot of sights on this street. Super interesting. So, um, so on Sunday um, is uh, Holy Week. I mean, it's uh, what is it? Easter Sunday. So the Easter Bunny's gonna come pay you guys a visit. And uh, hopefully leave you, um, lay some eggs for you guys, right? Is that what he does? I never got the concept of that. And I really never got, understood that whole concept of having an, uh, a, a giant bunny come to your house and lay some fucking eggs in your house. Sounds like a fucking cockroach type of shit. You know what I mean? Like, are you kidding me right now? So, well, I hope you guys enjoy his uh, chocolate eggs. I'd be a little worried if I were you about those chocolate eggs. But anyways, <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, it's Easter Sunday and I uh, hope you guys are going to go fucking enjoy that and, um, you know, go to church and do all that good stuff, you know, that mom tells you, or your, your parents or whatever the hell. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy your Sunday. It's going to be a, an awesome, awesome Easter Sunday. I don't even know what the hell I'm saying. But anyway, so what we're gonna do, see look, about, let's go back to the streets. Look at this, look how stretchy this little street is here. Look at that. Let's go back to 420. I think 420 is a better, better subject, even though we weren't really doing anything. Um, if you guys don't know about the history of 420, how 420 came about, I think it was somewhere like in Berkeley or California or one of these places out there where, Every day at 4.20 p.m. was like the break that they had in between classes. This group of people, um, this, group, this group of students had like a break around 4.20. And at 4.20 every day, they would all gather together in one spot and go smoke some herbs. So um, that's kind of like the origin of 4.20. 
a really shitty uh, story origin. Oh look, this is bar. Can we cross or we can cross? All right. And uh, there's a lot of character down this street. A lot of stuff on this street. Huh. Definitely gonna come down the street a lot more. We will be coming down the street more, I promise, all right? Um, <laughs> see, look, I, you, know, you just hate that, bro. You know what I mean? When someone, you know, gives you the stare, you look back at them, you, you know, you lose sight of what you're looking at and then you almost fall. It's funny because sometimes, like, I almost fall here, but it can, you guys never tell, you can never tell. Anyways. So, yeah, 420 is awesome, man. This weekend's awesome. Um, see, look, right now, it's, it would be a very easy for me for this week for me not to make any episodes, but I can't not make episodes. I'm so addicted to this freaking thing that I got to just pick up the camera and film stuff. Look at this. Cool. See, and that's what I'm... I, I just love Mexico, man. There's just so many awesome things about Mexico. Like I said, um, yes, I, I, on, on Thursday when I was... On Wednesday when I was filming my episode for Thursday, I don't know if you guys noticed towards the end, but I had the water guy come and visit me, you know, and deliver some water, and I filmed some of that. Um, you know, I was telling you guys a story as to, you know, how they do, you know, their job, you know, um, all around town. And then they come over to, you know, my neighbor lady's uh, house and they eat at her house, dinner and lunch or whatever. So that's pretty cool. You know, it's like um, my mom, you know, like your mom or your aunt or your grandma or whatever. Like she makes food for like 10, 15 people. And then she has all kinds of people come and visit and hang out and check out and all that good stuff. We cross. All right, we can cross. So, it's a lot of sightseeing out here, guys. Everywhere. Oh, I've been here before. I've been here. This shit sucks. This place sucks, bro. No bueno. Had a good, had a good pizza, man. I remember I went there. I went there on a date. I went there on a date before, and the pizza sucked, man. I was so disappointed. Um, but yeah, just FYI. See, I give reviews, too. I give all kinds of reviews. I have not been there yet. I'm going to go visit that place. But yeah, a shitty, shitty pizza there. It's not their fault, you know what I mean? It is what it is. You know, um, I've yet to really have a shitty taco out here, but yet I have had many shitty pizzas out here. In fact, all the pizzas are pretty fucking shitty out here. I think there was one place that had a pretty good pizza. That's it, you know, everything else sucked. Hamburgers, again, it's, it's kind of hard to fuck up a hamburger, so I've actually found a few places that actually make really good burgers, you know. Again, it's not in and out It's not, you know, it's not anything even remotely close to the shit that you find back home. But it's pretty good, you know what I mean? I mean, again, burger is just really good meat. You just cook it, you know. Look at this. Look at this place. That's pretty cool. So that's just like, uh, there's more stuff over here. Oh. Oh, like music equipment here video games look at this wait what area is this oh shit i definitely gotta come out here to this area a lot more huh a little place to eat look at that ah huh, that's pretty cool oh look another pizza place yeah i order pizza from here right. yeah, right. what street is this 57 I gotta get to I gotta get to 65. We're in 57 right now. But yeah, I order pizza from here from time to time. This is like kind of like alright pizza. But it's kind of like the best you're gonna get out here. That I've found. You know, that's like uh that's like a five, six dollar pizza, you know, and it's pretty good. It's not bad. You get like a Coke and uh like three four ingredients and that's delivery and everything you know so that's not bad you can't beat that shit that's what we had last weekend but um not my favorite but it, it, it works now um yeah let's just go back to the hamburgers you know situation like um yeah you know you can get a pretty good hamburger out here you know again it's not really that hard to fuck up and you know Mexican culture Mexicans are known for cooking you know they're fucking awesome they're the, I'm, you know again I know I've said this a million times but you know I used to be a chef so I used to hire a lot of Hispanics because I'm fucking Hispanic and uh, we're just the best not only are we hard working but we just really cook really fucking awesome you know so 
Um, yeah, so everything out here, like for the most part, it's great. You know, the fact, you know, the fact, the fact that I cannot get good pizza out here is not really like a, I don't know, it's not that hard for me to believe because, you know, back home, you know, pretty much everywhere you go to try and get some, some pizza or whatever, it's always, um, you know, it's always kind of like Italians or people that know how to work pizza, you know? It, it's, I, I, look, I myself have never really worked in a pizza place or worked pizza, so and even though I know a lot of things, that's not my forte. So I know that that's like a separate thing, you know what I mean? Like, a, like it's like I'm uh, making donuts or, you know, let me see if I can skip ahead of everybody. It's like making fucking donuts or, or desserts or like, you know, kind of like a specialty type thing. So that's why I'm not really like surprised that it's not that good out here. But pretty much everything else is fucking bomb. And it, it, I mean, it is. It just is. Because not only are the ingredients fucking bomb out here, um, but, you know, the fact that, um, you know, everyone out here, you know, has that blood, that cooking blood, you know, so they can just make it happen. And they're just really good. It's really cool, man. I like this area. There's a lot of really cool stuff. Because I usually go down the other area and uh, down the other streets, they have a lot more touristy stuff. And down these streets, it seems to be a lot more of the local stuff. You know, shit that I would be needing. Is that, look, see, look, I think that's another, look, that's another game store. So look, I've already seen like three or four, you know, video game stores. And that might not be just video games. That also might be, that also might be, um, you know, all the board games and all the, you know, all the games, you know, all that game stuff that people are into these days. So that's pretty cool. So I've already seen two on this street. And I know there's a few in the Centro. I know that for sure. So, um, you know, when they play Magic and, you know, Settlers of Catan and, you know, um, Risk and all that shit. They play, they got all the nerd shit out here, man. It's fucking Nerd Central out here, too. Looks like a nice place. The place is fucking nice. Let's cross the street here. Yeah, I gotta be careful I don't slip. So... Yeah, it's super fucking nice out here. See, look, nothing he's doing is illegal. Everything he's doing is legal. He can stand on there, he can sell off the truck, he can do whatever the fuck he wants, you know? And no cop is gonna stop him for, you know, riding the truck like that. Or for selling shit off the truck, you know? No, they're not. They're just not. They're not. Perfume, little stores. A lot of little stores around here but yeah see it's, it's funny man because you can tell like where the touristy areas are and that are all the tourists hang out like just a block that way i don't see any fucking tourists out here if i'm walking down the other way you're you you, you you guys are tired of seeing tourists all the time that's fucking hilarious so it's like you really don't gotta venture too far you really don't gotta venture too far off the beaten path you know in order to just experience something new oh yeah there we go Going back to um, what we were talking about earlier, about going out of your comfort zone a little bit. And like, for example, riding the bus. Instead of taking an Uber, figure out the bus system and ride a bus. And ride a bus. And like, everything about riding the bus is such an experience. It really is. Um, and especially when you're in a new place, like somewhere like uh, completely different, it's, it's, uh, it's even awesomer. It's even awesomer to, to ride the bus because you get to be with the people, you get to experience things in a brand new, different way. You get to go to places that you've never been. So, you know, one of the things that's awesome, that's a bank. Oh shit, I remember this bank. I've been here before. That's hilarious. So. Yeah, sorry, I was trying not, trying not to hit the, the person there. Trying to walk and talk at the same time. It's a little hard sometimes. So, yeah, you know, one thing about every every place that serves alcohol here, they have like something closing off their doors or their front. Like, it's like, I guess it's like the law that, you know, you can sell alcohol and, and all that good stuff, but you just gotta have, uh, you gotta like, I have to block it off from the from the people. So every time you see like, um you know, the, the two-sided doors, like you see like in, you know, like at the old west and all that shit, you know it's a bar right there there was like a makeshift bar so they just put up like uh like a divider in front of the is that 60 there it is, sorry and they just put like a divider and then they you know so they closed it off from the public so that the public can't see the people drinking i guess i don't know so that's pretty cool oof it's hot i gotta get on that side 
God dang. Fuck, it's hot today. I don't think this black shirt's helping either. I definitely gotta go down that street more often. That's for sure. So, well, I'm literally like a block away from where I need to go. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. I hope you guys had a lot of fun hanging out with me today as we're walking and talking and enjoying the sights and checking out everything that this place has to offer. Um, I know we were talking about 420 and Easter and uh, we just talked about uh, random thoughts like we usually do. Random thoughts are always the best thoughts. All kinds of thoughts are the... I love all thoughts, you know, no matter where the thoughts come from, right? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So, you know, this, this, uh, this episode is in honor of all the thoughts out there. You know, the thoughts with a voice and without a voice. Nicopa. Anyways, there's always assholes, no matter what, you know what I mean? Every once in a while, you know what I mean? Like, there's always people that just want to stand in the way and be pieces of shit. And that's always gonna happen no matter where you go visit. So just remind, remember that. Just because everyone here is fucking nice and cool, it doesn't mean that you're gonna find the fucking asshole from time to time. Like this guy, just getting in the way. Look at this guy. Look at this fucking guy. You know? He won't even let me walk. Anyways. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate you guys. Don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share, please hit that bell icon. And, um, Enjoy your weekend, all right? I really enjoy your weekend. Enjoy your 420. Enjoy your Easter Sunday. And um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.